Good morning guys. Today we're talking about another little pelagic species. Um, we say little, they're actually quite a, one of the bigger ones. Um, talking about the wahoo, the who, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Acanthosibium cylindri. Now, the wahoo is one of the most one of the most targeted species, uh, one of the most highly regarded species. Everyone wants to catch a nice big wahoo. They are very easily confused with kuta. So now you get that, that group of three. You got kuta, you got snook, and you have wahoo. We will be looking at doing a video identifying the main differences between them. Um, but the difference between your wahoo and your kuta is, is something that's often often confused. Um, your wahoo has got a much, much sharper mouth. It's almost got a beak to it. Um, now, not a beak like a parrot, which is hooked. You're talking about a very sharp mouth comes to the thing. The jaw can actually open a lot wider like that. Like that. Um, versus the kuta, it's a, lot, it's a beefier fish. So, your wahoo is a lot more slender, cigar shaped. Um, and they've got bars that run down them all the way along. Um, whereas the kuta has got more squiggly lines to it, the wahoo's got more definitive bars. Overall bluish fish, white belly, um, very, very muscular fish. Um, that, it's a tube, absolutely pure muscle, very little uh, digestive tract to it, so no stilicious muscle. Bit of a lunate tail to it. They are built for speed. They are extremely, extremely fast. If you've ever hooked one, um, your drag would probably never have screamed that fast and this was being spooled here. Um, in terms of sizing, uh, you're talking about a fish that gets to about nine years old. The maximum length I think recorded is about two meters, although it is rumored to get bigger than that. Like most fish is always, I caught this one that was that big, that big, but they are rumored to get to about two and a half. So, two meters and the record was 83, 83, 84 kilos, um, which is quite a big wahoo. We normally get them here a lot smaller. Um, they are a nomadic species, so they don't stay in one spot. They move around a lot. So finding them is often the, the key. Your main target areas here, Aliwal Shoals on, on the KZN coast is gonna be the real, real hot spot for them. Um, they do move up north and south of that though and they actually guys have doing, done some genetic analysis so looked at different samples from all over the world and it's actually shown that the wahoo from all over the globe have got a, some form of genetic connectivity to them so they're actually linked so it's like one big one big family um, which is very interesting so it shows that stocks that we affect will affect the stock somewhere else if that makes sense if they're moving around um good job in terms of targeting, they, you're going to find them close to the surface. They have been recorded down to depths of 340 meters. Now, think about that, that is flipping far down. But mainly, you're going to find them in the surface zone, um, above the thermocline, and much like the sailfish, you're going to be finding them in areas of change. Um, where there's a current uh, cutting off another current, where there are two bodies of water, where they're, they're differentiated by temperature or density or color, anything like that on that change and the reason behind that is you get bait fish that will move along and as soon as they get to that border it's almost like an invisible wall it traps them so they'll get caught along that wall and they'll sit along there so it makes it very easy for the wild to come along or any game fish to come along and just pick them off um, in terms of what they're eating you're really looking the the juveniles are going to be eating mainly smaller fish stuff around flotsam um, so anything floating uh, they're going to be uh, taking those off. They will eat squid, they will eat your swimming crustaceans, your swimming prawns. Um, but yeah, the main diet of the big boys is going, to be, is going to be fish. They absolutely love live bonnie. If you can get, catch a little live bonnie, um, put it out, troll it behind you, you're almost guaranteed to get a take from a wahoo. Now this is in a wahoo hotspot, so if you can do that off Aliwal, A for the way. Um, and in terms of your actual targeting, your tackle that you're going to be using, your normal kuta tackle is going to be fine for the small guys. When you step it up to the bigger fish, when you're looking at 20 kilos plus, you really, really need to step up your tackle. Um, sharks love wahoo, unfortunately, uh, like most of our game fish, so you need to get them in a bit quicker. But also, a big wahoo is a lot stronger than a, than a big kuta. That's my opinion. I know there'll be a few guys who will argue with that. 
Um, he takes off a lot quicker, so you need something with a very smooth drag. Um, my opinion, a rod around sort of the 18 kilo bracket. Uh, my ideal setup would be either the BG50 or the Saltiga, the new Saltiga HA, which is phenomenal. Um, and you pair that onto the Poseidon Offshore Kingfish. That's the combo I would go for. It's got a lot of backbone, still a bit of play, so if he does take off closer, you're not going to tear a hook out or anything. Um, but it's got plenty, plenty of backbone that you can actually pull him out like that. You're allowed 10 per person per day, um, but that's inclusive of your entire catch. So when it says that, say you're allowed 10 of that, 10 mackerel, 10, it's not 10 total. You're allowed 10 fish total. So you can't go catch 10 tuna, 10 wahoo, 10 anything else. It's 10 fish total. So if you've caught three other fish already, you're only allowed to keep seven. Not that you should ever be keeping seven wahoo. Um, they're very beautiful species. Feel free to keep one. They're very fast growing, so it is something that can sustain the pressure. Um, but yeah, I'd rather release them. They're much prettier swimming away. Your, and then the, that's for the recreational guys. Your commercial guys are unlimited on wahoo. Um, there is no limit, so yeah, we won't, won't go into that. I'll get angry. Um, but they are, as we said, pelagic fish. They're very fast growing. They are nomadic, so they move around a lot. And it's a very nice word to put on TV. They've got a very high fecundity, which is their ability to breed. It, just to, some, to make it as simple as possible. Um, but yeah, so they, they breed prolifically. They've got, they produce a lot of eggs. So it is a species that is characterized as being underexploited here in South Africa. So it is something that can take a little bit more pressure. So if you're wanting to target bottom fish for, to keep for the pan, rather look at targeting something pelagic like a wahoo. They can sustain the pressure a lot better. You're going to be able to, to actually catch them, keep them, and not affect the population as badly. So yeah, the wahoo, uh, Acanthosibium salandri, very beautiful fish. Very, very nice to catch. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, fast, fast fish. You can target them on stick baits, you can target them on poppers, you can target them, like we mentioned, live bait being the best method, and the guys do get them on fly as well, which would be a, a real goal of mine. Um, but yeah, the wahoo, beautiful fish, fun to catch. Cheers.